Hi, this is Gali Gopar and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to avoid and heal from chronic pain. Chronic pain is undoubtedly a difficult thing to live with no matter where in the body the pain is located. Chronic pain is also very prevalent among the global population. According to the American Academy of Pain and Medicine of Pain Medicine, about 1.5 billion people around the world suffer from chronic pain. That means that 20% of the global population is suffering from some kind of pain on an ongoing basis. Very, very difficult situation. But not all pain is the same. Acute pain is an essential reaction of our nervous system to injury. It warns us that something has gone wrong in our body. Now immune cells, neutrophils, are the first cells to arrive at the site of the tissue damage and they contribute to the painful sensation. This type of pain usually goes away during the healing phase of the injury, which is often less than 12 weeks after the injury. As the healing progresses, the pain sensation goes down until minimum or no pain is detected thanks to the production of uh, anti-inflammatory cytokines and opioid peptoids such as beta endorphins. Uh, these alleviate the pain. But chronic pain is quite different. The initial damage has passed, yet the body still sends pain messages to the brain. And when the pain persists for over 12 weeks after an injury, in spite of medications, it is considered to be chronic pain. Chronic pain can therefore last for months or even years in more extreme cases. It severely limits one's ability to lead a normal and healthy life. Intense pain becomes persistent as it activates secondary mechanisms in the body that lead to hypersensitivity to pain and sometimes exaggerated sensitivity to pain. And these mechanisms, along with inflammation in the body, either previous to the injury or because of the injury itself, transform acute pain into chronic pain. Now, conventionally, chronic pain is handled with medications, be it over-the-counter or prescription drugs, that often do not completely alleviate the pain. Sometimes surgery is also needed. However, there are alternative treatments that often solve the problem just as well, but without the undesirable side effects, like sedation, tolerance, or physical dependence on the drug. Now, in this video, I will attempt to explain how you can naturally heal from chronic pain. So let's begin. As I mentioned, inflammation is a significant factor in the development and persistence of pain. In foods, there are compounds that have been shown to, through research to regulate inflammation and secondary mechanisms that influence pain persistence. These compounds are flavonoids, alkaloids, carotenoids, phenols, and terpenes. So here are 15 foods and compounds that are rich in these inflammatory regulating compounds that help alleviate chronic pain when their consumption is on a regular basis. The first food is a brown seaweed, which has been shown to have potential analgesic effects when taken in doses of 300 milligrams per kilogram per day, per day. Now this has been shown on rats, but it is suggested that this would also have the same similar effect on humans. The next food is hot chili peppers. And although they were found to actually induce pain initially, after repeated consumption, or taken even via injections, they were found to reduce pain sensations quite significantly. Now another bioactive compound is derived from ginger, was demonstrated to reduce pain, uh, even comparable to drugs like gabapentin and morphine. So consuming ginger on a regular basis when you're suffering from pain is an excellent way to combat this pain. The fourth food is curcumin, found in, tumor, uh, found in turmeric. It modulates the dopamine receptor, and uh, which expresses the COX-2, uh, which leads to inflammation. And this has been shown to alleviate pain and uh, painful sensations around the body. So definitely you want to consume uh, turmeric. The next food, you can add it to many, many different foods, like rice or anything really, or you can take it as, as a supplement. Now the next food is the Chinese medicine, Cordalis Yanhusu, which is... Um, a plant well documented with pain relieving qualities. This plant can be taken as a herbal tincture and it helps relieve chronic pain. It does really help. Also the essential oil, clove oil, initiates the cannabinoid receptor just like cannabis does. It is a critical receptor that actually counteracts pain. 
So you definitely want to take clove oil as an essential oil. You can add it to water, uh, a few drops of it every single day, and it will help uh, alleviate pain. Another compound, Hooperzam A, is isolated from the Hooperzia serrata plant, and it helps inhibit acetylcholine esterase receptors, which help alleviate pain. Without any drug uh, tolerance or dependence, this is great. If you can find it in your country or on Amazon, it is found, then you can definitely, uh, you want to supplement with it. Another compound is quercetine. This is absolutely an amazing compound. It is a very potent antioxidant uh, and anti-inflammatory as well. It has been shown to alleviate pain and it is very, very uh, beneficial for overall health. This compound is found in grapes, berries, cherries, apples, citrus fruits, buckwheat, onions, and broccoli, and uh, it is also, of course, it also comes as a supplement, usually with vitamin C, and I definitely recommend taking it if you are suffering from pain. Um, the next food is barberries. These are rich in an alkaloid called barberine, which is absolutely amazing. It's reported to have multiple uh, pharmacological properties for use in several conditions, including pain reduction as well. Uh, barberine also has an antidepressant effect it modulates dopamine. Now the next compound is really amazing. It's genistein. It's a, a isoflavonoid found in soy products. It, it has absolutely amazing effects also on our genome, gene expression, and it helps uh, regulate the estrogen receptor B, beta, and also has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activities. I definitely recommend eating soy products when you are suffering from pain. Another food you want to consume is tomatoes rich in lycopene. Uh, it's a carotenoid that inhibits nitric, uh, nitric oxide and reduces pain. Also, citrus fruits are very, very rich in a compound called naringin. It's a flavonoid with anti-inflammatory properties, reversing the pain response. And then we come to omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids, very effective against inflammatory pain and also has positive effects on mood as well as an analgesic effect. Now, since uh, omega-3 fatty acids do not interact with the, uh, conventional analgesic, analgesic drugs, then you can also take them together with conventional therapy. I definitely recommend taking omega-3 fatty acid supplements, uh, plant-based preferably when you are suffering from pain. The next compound is the polyphenol resveratrol. This is an, a potent anti-inflammatory used to treat pain and many other diseases. Very, very potent. Definitely, I recommend taking it. it it's also good against cancer and aging. Uh, it has been shown to alleviate many different types of pain, including neuropathic pain. Uh, the last herb is called Devil's Claw, a plant with widespread medicinal uses as well as treating pain. Preparations were found that, that contained over 50 milligrams uh, daily dosage of devil's claw were found to be most effective against pain. Now, apart from supplementation and changing your eating habits to increase these foods that I just mentioned, there are some lifestyle habits to help reduce pain. And although counterintuitive, uh, I do recommend doing exercise when in pain, working on surrounding muscles. Uh, for example, if you have back pain, you want to strengthen the stomach muscles. Now, regular exercise uh, strengthens the supporting muscles, also will help you sleep better, and this helps you heal faster as well, and it, of course, helps with mobility as well. Uh, exercise reduces endorphins that are natural pain relievers. Also, exercise helps in relaxation, which is a part of any pain management program. Now, acupuncture you may want to try. It has been suggested for pain relief, and now has been uh, shown through research that it's very helpful for many patients. And also cannabis, where it's, where it's legal, it's excellent for chronic pain, although some people do suffer from side effects. Now, there are also several things that you can do to prevent chronic pain from developing. One thing is, of course, leading a healthy lifestyle that's based on proper nutrition, low in inflammatory foods. Um, you can find out which of these foods they're found in the Gorilla Diet uh, and Lifestyle Program book, uh, chapter number 13. You also want to regularly exercise, do an endurance sport. Walking, walking is excellent. If you can manage to walk, then this is a great uh, way to also lose weight, which also helps in pain management and also helps uh, release endorphins, which help, which help uh, alleviate the pain. Now, it is also imperative to limit your alcohol consumption and to stop smoking to prevent inflammation and chronic pain. 
You also want to strive to get enough sleep as it will help you manage your pain better and also helps the body heal itself. Employ stress management techniques such as meditation, massage, yoga, and these are uh, very, very good at uh, alleviating or leaving ongoing pain and reducing stress. Now at work, you want to make sure that your workstation is ergonomically designed to prevent gradual injury from occurring. Have a very good chair for you. This is very, very important. And it's also, if possible, to avoid participating in dangerous activities like high-risk sports. Uh, then you have uh, less uh, chance of getting an injury, which may uh, become later into uh, chronic pain. Now, I understand that these recommendations involve some serious lifestyle changes that is not always easy to do, but everything in life is still a choice that is entirely our own to make every day and every minute of our life. It depends what we want. So the bottom line is that with proper healthy lifestyle, you can avoid chronic pain entirely. And if you suffer from chronic pain at the moment, then you can still use a wide range of alternative methods and specific herbs, herbs, foods, and supplements mentioned in this video, which will help support your body to heal itself. So please feel free to comment below and let me know what you like best about this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos about once a week. And uh, also visit my website, www.thegorilladiet.com for lots of health, weight loss, and uh, um, any information on in nutrition and how to heal yourself naturally. Thank you very much for joining.